The basic materials sector is a category of companies engaged in the discovery, development, and processing of raw materials. These industries consist of companies engaged in the extraction and primary refinement of chemicals, metals, timber, and minerals of all kind. These raw materials are the building blocks of manufacturing and construction, providing the basic physical structure to our economy. Our existing industrial age linear system for the provision of materials was developed in a world of seemingly infinite resources, where the emphasis was on gross input and thoroughput of resources. But this set of solutions for the extraction and provision of materials within a linear model is increasingly reaching its limits of operation. This is due to, on the one hand, the rapid expansion in the global middle class of consumers, and on the other, an increasingly finite availability of natural resources. In a world with increasingly constrained resources and environmental challenges, the balance of supply and demand will shift for many commodities. This will have a profound effect across the basic materials value chain. An outcome to this is that companies already face the challenge of growing their business and creating customer value in the face of supply price volatility, environmental concerns, and possible resource availability scarcity. In response to these changes in the coming decades, growth opportunities within the materials industries will likely shift from gross extraction and thoroughput of materials to the optimization of existing materials within the economy, as the economy shifts from a linear model to a circular economy. This is a profound transformation that offers vast untapped potential for value creation and retention. But the reality is that many companies' business models are not set up to do much other than earn money from pushing out products and volume. Within this paradigm, the idea of producing less or helping consumers to use less appears totally contradictory to business logic. That is why the business model has to change fundamentally to adapt to this emerging reality of a circular economy. In our report, we identify four main dimensions along which the business model has to evolve into a more complex form in order to maintain relevance within this new context. Firstly. Business models need to shift from selling materials as products to becoming platforms that facilitate the recycling and exchange of resources between users. Companies can leverage information technology to create two-sided markets that enable the effective exchange of resources between users. One innovative example of this is the United States Materials Marketplace, which is a multi-stakeholder collaborative platform that enables business-to-business -business material reuse across the U.S. at scale. This marketplace facilitates company-to-company -company industrial reuse opportunities that support the culture shift to a circular economy. Platform models like this enable businesses to tap into the vast amount of pre-existing material resources out there in the economy and to generate revenue by facilitating the effective reallocation of those resources. Traditional businesses have been built on a particular stage in a linear production supply chain, but going forward, growth opportunities will shift to closing loops. Businesses will be built on value generated by enabling feedback loops instead of linear production processes. Waste, not production, will fuel growth in the circular economy. And this is not just waste within your narrow domain in the industry. But instead, open loops all across the value chain should be seen as a business opportunity, though it is only possible to effectively tap into these by enabling others to identify and close loops. Enabling them to conserve resources, reduce expenses, and by enabling others to reduce expenses, you have a value proposition that can be turned into a revenue stream. Serviceization is another key dimension along which businesses are adapting to this changing reality. Information technology is enabling a new kind of access economy where value is shifted from ownership of products to the services that they deliver. The as-a-service business model offers the possibility for a radical jump in the efficiency of resource utilization in that it can liberate materials and resources from single ownership, which works to monopolize the resource, reducing access to its functionality to a small subset of its possible usage. With the as-a-service model, though, the business retains ownership of the resource along its full life cycle, allowing them to optimize its usage while avoiding the current problem of designing for obsolescence. At the same time, the end user pays for only what they get. Serviceization helps to align the interest of producers, users, and environment in delivering a functional economy. 
The current model to a material's life cycle divides it up among various owners into a set of discrete stages to the resource's life cycle with limited interoperability between them. In a circular economy, we need businesses that manage across the full life cycle by enabling interoperability and coordination across the value chain, from cradle to grave and back again. Information technology, big data, and the emerging Internet of Things increasingly allows us to sense and track products and materials as they pass through the entire economy, to understand their full life cycle. Businesses in these industries should no longer see themselves as simply selling resources en masse, but instead move up the value chain to become end-to-end -end material solutions providers, building their business model around the full life cycle of material flows through the economy. Reuse, repair, upgrade, refurbishment, capacity sharing, longevity, and life extension. Each one of these is a business opportunity in the making along the life cycle of any materials value chain. Achieving an effective circular economy means aligning the incentives of businesses, end user needs, and the environment. It has to work for all stakeholders by aligning their interests. Download our full report on the current challenges and opportunities within the basic materials industries. The paper traces the industry's current development and major vectors of change as we move into this non-linear resource economy.